thing. Uh, so I'm leaving Liberty Springs campsite. Actually left maybe half hour, 40 minutes ago. So only have a mile, mile or two um, down to the area I'm going to get picked up. So I am going to go into Lincoln and stay at the Notch Hostel. Uh, they're going to do a shuttle. Oh, some nice birds like right around me. You can probably hear. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I have some one update. I lost my uh, my tripod, so I think I might have lost it on Franconia Ridge somewhere. Uh, just setting up so many shots and yeah, I think I might have lost, uh, lost it up there because it was not with me this morning um, when I was packing everything up. So, tripod's gone. Um, so, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to get another one because it is really helpful. Um, also, my shoes are absolutely falling apart. Um, now, not only the sides, but the bottoms. Hold on, I'll show you. Like... <laughs> they're gone so I think again because my new shoes are in Glencliff it's like 20 miles away um, I'm just gonna when I'm in town try and get some like shoe glue I guess they make that at one of the outfitters so just something to last like it needs to last like two days I think it can do I think I can do that um, yeah, so I'm just rolling with it. So I'm at Flume Gorge Visitor Center. I'm about an hour early for my uh, shuttle. Uh, this place is incredibly built up. It's like a series of waterfalls and whatnot, and costs like 20 something bucks to get in. Um, I just walked past the ticket thing though, so I don't know if I can get in, but. This has a feel of a place where there's not a lot of through hikers. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go in and check it out and see what I can do here. If I have to wait on the sidewalk, then I will. I'm in the Notch Hostel. Very nice. You can see a little kitchen, a dining room, with like sodas, frozen pizza, ice cream. Some like great New Hampshire artwork. places to store your food, so that's all my food. Hiker boxes, which, yeah, other food that I could take. Cooking area. Fridge, so here's, I got a bunch of like produce and salad and stuff, so I'm gonna eat that. Um, yeah, super nice so far. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go get loner clothes and then uh, take a shower and do laundry. So, I don't know if I'll get a chance to record, but this is like the bunkhouse. I'm in the kinsman room and I get this bunk right there, or this bed right here. Um, yeah, pretty simple, but there's AC, um, plenty of chargers, which mine is kind of plugged into. Uh, yeah, everything's clean and great and yeah, loving this place so far. So there's still like no one here, so. I'm gonna record my lunch, which I got at Price Shopper. 
So I got a whole thing of salad, a full loaf of Italian bread, some like salami, cold cuts. Uh, if anyone knows me, they know I love seltzer, so I got seltzer in the biggest mug I can find with ice and Ken's Italian dressing. So I also got like a cucumber, um, some more tomatoes, and an apple. So I'm like polar opposite of on trail. I eat like trash and then I try and get to town and I think my strategy is to eat a little bit better while I can. All right, so I usually don't give like any town footage at all, but here I am, um, outfit. I got some like nice sweat shorts, a little, little tie dye too. Um, I think the best piece is this sweet backpack. So <laughs> I'm in town, uh, obviously on the bike. Um, I mentioned before that my Sawyer filter cracked. Um, and I'm at one of the gear shops in uh, Lincoln and they had a Sawyer in here. It's just missing the O-ring. So I have like two of these and I'm just gonna bring it back and put a new O-ring in it. I think that's why it's in the box, so. Um, yeah, I was just back flushing mine. It cracked the housing and it leaks, so. The new one is 45 bucks and this was free, so if it doesn't work, I can always get another one and my filter actually does work so yeah good find hey good morning so stayed at uh the notch hostel last night everything was great um got back on trail this morning i've uh, been hiking with this guy jelly uh all morning he's from massachusetts um we are hiking up to um Oh, what's the name? Lonesome Lake Hunt. Huh? Trail has pretty much been like gorgeous waterfalls the whole time. Just like that. But this is my last hut in the White Mountains, so uh, you probably know that I've thoroughly enjoyed the huts here. So I'm gonna make this last one count, eat a ton of baked goods and coffee. So it's still early and it's been two-ish miles and I have not had any breakfast, so I'm gonna go in and just see what I can eat and enjoy the very last hut of the White Mountains. So here's a view of Lonesome Lake. Beautiful, beautiful views. You have Franconia Ridge right in the background. Um, yeah, and the hut's right up here, point one. But just wanted to give you a nice, nice good look at Lonesome Lake. So I'm just leaving Lonesome Lake. Um, probably had five or six baked goods, two cups of coffee. So I think I thoroughly enjoyed my last hut. So thankful that those things exist. Like they really give you those huge calorie bumps when you need it. Like Madison, Lake of the Clouds, Mizpah, they're in the right spots. Even, you know, Gale head right before you hit Franconia Ridge. Um, it makes doing the White Mountains a lot easier. So my tip to anyone watching this who's going to do an AT hike, make the most of the huts, eat the food, spend money there. It's tough to stay, but if you can do work for stay, do it. Um, but at the very least, just go in and eat the food, <laughs> get the calories. Um, uh, let's see, um, I think I mentioned in my last video yesterday that I lost my tripod on Franconia Ridge, so I don't have anywhere to set up a tripod for, so, like, certain shots. You probably can tell that I'm using a tripod, 
Um, sometimes I do these talk, like walk and talks with a tripod. So I'm just holding it. So you're gonna have to forgive me until I get a new one. Um, other gear that I've lost or broken on the trail so far, just to recap. Uh, first to go was my inflatable pillow that popped. Um, or just like slowly leaked and deflated. Um, I wound up just wound up just throwing that out, and now I just use my clothes as my pillow and wrap them in my puffy jacket as a pillowcase. And it is a better pillow, I think, than an inflatable. Those things are not that comfortable. So between the clothes wrapped in a down jacket and the sponge, great pillow. Um, so that was actually weight savings. Um, tripod lost. I broke my filter and found one in the hiker box yesterday. Other than that, I mean, my shoes are absolutely falling apart, but um, I used some shoe glue. I think it's, that's what it's called, shoe glue. It's like a brand. Um, and I glued like some of the grippy stuff on the bottom back and it's actually holding so I'm hoping that holds all the way to Glencliff because that's where the shoes are um I haven't had any other like big time gear failures everything else has been pretty good uh fish and jimmy trail is very hard. Um, you can see the little steps just carved into carved into the rock, and you can hear me. My pant panting breath. I'm just dripping sweat. Um, yeah, this trail's tough, and it's incredibly humid today. I don't think I've mentioned the weather. Um, the next week, it's a good chance of rain every single day. So. Yeah, just gonna have to deal with it. It looks like it's like afternoon stuff, so to me that means it's gonna be muggy and humid and then afternoon thunderstorms, which is honestly my least favorite weather to hike in. So I gotta make sure I'm drinking and taking breaks because it's just tough to hike in these, in this weather. I'm at uh, Kinsman Pond. You can see, uh, I think that's a North Kinsman right there. Um, South Kinsman over in the distance. But yeah, beautiful pond. I'm going to fill up some water. Um, here's my new, not new filter. Um, I'll show you. So it was in the hiker box because this little white piece, that O-ring, was not in it. So I just took the O-ring from my other one and put it in here. And now I got a filter that works that isn't cracked. My other one had a crack like right there. And it was just kind of leaking, so yeah, I'm gonna use the filter, fill up some water, and then head up those mountains. Summit of North Kinsman, and this is kind of what I expect in New Hampshire socked in, no views. So I've been so lucky up to this point, <laughs> so I'm kind of uh, you know, I was expecting this. We'll see if uh, I'm headed to South Kinsman after this, and I'll see if I get any views there, but unlikely. All right, so story from last night at the Notch Hostel with my my like green button-up shirt that went missing. Um, they do the laundry system there where you just put your laundry in with everyone else's. They do it, and then you just get your stuff, but it's mixed in with everybody else's. Um, they have some bags with where you can put your socks and like underwear and stuff. But anyway, right when. Right when they were going over like that's the process i'm like something's gonna get lost <laughs> everywhere else you do your own laundry here it's mixed in anyway um couldn't find my shirt last night asked a ton of people if they had it because it's pretty common they don't have it this morning it's just sitting uh like by the entrance um so i just took it i was like great shirt's here guess it turned up I get on trail, and I said this morning I was hiking with that guy, Jelly. Um, and Jelly was telling me, 
is like last night. I was in my tent and uh, he was wearing a shirt and he was like, wait, this is a little tight on me. <laughs> I guess it's not mine. So Jelly was actually wearing my shirt uh, and he put it back this morning. But yeah, it was funny because I just, I found it this morning and then I wound up hiking with him this morning. He had no idea it was mine. I had no idea that he left it there, but um, yeah, funny, funny coincidence. <laughs> yeah, so it was a good story from the Notch Hostel and the missing, the missing shirt. All right, on South Kinsman, not too, I mean, it's still kind of in the clouds. You can kind of see, um, yeah, I hung out with two two guys there from New Hampshire doing some big big miles pretty much just doing the um, ridge along Kinsman and all the way to Cannon Cannon Mountain um, so we talked a little bit uh, but yeah I'm like a few miles from a Eliza Brook shelter I'm gonna make a call there if it's rainy I might stop for the night if it's not rainy I might push on um, yeah I'm still feeling good Got plenty of food in me. Should probably keep going, but we'll see when I get there. So this is actually a pretty cool shot. Uh, com coming off South Kinsman. And I'm just turning. And this cloud right here is just coming like right in. So I'm like pretty much in the cloud. Um, <laughs> right in the weather that's kind of rolling through. Yeah, it's been so clear that I haven't really had some in the clouds days. So this is kind of nice. All right, so example, another example of why this section is hard. Like, this is why you go slow in New Hampshire. Look at that. Just wet rocks, roots, all the way down. I mean, you were going so slow here. Just trying not to fall over, slide, turn your ankle, um, or worse. So, this section from... South Kinsman to Eliza Brook is pretty treacherous. I feel like today I'm like really pushing the I feel like today I'm really pushing the threshold for too much waterfall content. Um, it is everywhere here. All morning, all afternoon. Gorgeous, gorgeous waterfalls. So if you're looking for like a waterfall trail, uh, do the Kinsman's via Fishing Jimmy and do South Kinsman and Eliza Brook and you will be rewarded with waterfalls and beautiful mossy brook streams the entire way but yeah I think I'm gonna <laughs> probably cap it there on how many more of these I put in the actual video so um, I wound up pushing past Eliza Brook shelter and my shirt really looks filthy <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably time for a new shirt uh, soon. Um, yeah, I pushed past Eliza Brooks Shelter. There were like a group of like five people there already and they were staying there for the night. I got there at two. Um, seemed like they were already having like a very good time. <laughs> so I just, uh, yeah, I just kind of pushed through. Um, then I saw another group of three guys who were doing a 24 challenge, which I guess is um, you have to do 24 miles in 24 hours and drink 24 beers. So all three of them were trying it um, through the Kinsmans and down to Franconia Notch, which a little crazy, um, but they were a funny group. Um, they were also all wearing uh, dresses. So um, yeah, so those guys were cool. Um, yeah, so plan is to get, I still have 
like three miles left down to the road and then it sounds like there's some camping by the road which i'm gonna try and hit uh but yeah it's been so muggy you can tell just i'm you know drenched in sweat it's kind of like it was a few weeks ago in um in maine um, when it was just brutally hot um yeah so it's a muggy day all right so you can see uh kinsman notch right there um yeah i guess i wound up doing a notch notch to notch franconia to kinsman um i think it was just over 15 miles and fifth oh, i don't know 5,000 ish feet of elevation gain over 5,000 and then um like over 4,000 feet of loss um and of course I was definitely getting a little frustrated towards the end because I knew I had like a thousand feet of loss and I don't know why I expected it to be gradual, but in, uh, never expect that <laughs> in New Hampshire. Of course it was 800 feet in under a mile straight down. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I was definitely getting a little frustrated and yeah, I just can't do that. <laughs> You just gotta accept it. That's just the way that the trail is around here, and it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be gradual. It's gonna be steep up, steep down. But um, I think I only, you know, have Moose Lock up and down tomorrow, and then it shouldn't really be that steep for a while. Uh, but we'll see.